Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, John Megacycle here. Another episode of Creeper World 3 Arc Eternal is kicking off. We just finished Sedet, Sedet, Sit. I don't care. I don't know what it's called, I don't care. Moving on to Flick, and then Tiplex is the final for this system of Navox. So let's go to Flick. Get in there. Uh, what the hell? Okay, so this dead space is reading is zero height. This is interesting. Skip, pause, oh boy, okay. Uh, I only have like one logical spot to deploy. Let's put this as close to the front as possible. What tech is this? Bomber, oh, another, another uh, airplane kind of a deal. I like it, I like it. Cool. So we've got kind of our fighter type. It appears like our uh, what was it called strafe so we've got our fighter class kind of a dude and then we also have a bomber so that, that's cool so I'm guessing if we need to clear out thin patches that's when the strafer is going to be more effective and then if we need to clear out much more deep swaths of stuff that's when the bomber is going to come in handy let's just spend a second here get this a little bit built up Yep, I am out of energy bad, so I'm just letting it sit. Um, this is this isn't a great build because like this was five points for it to build at the same time, so that really didn't help either. So relay, relay. Let's get a collector here once that pulls out. Um, so it realistically seems like what's happening is I'm immune to damage. Like, I don't think there's any way they're gonna get to me. Uh, deliver. Oh, delivers AC remotely. Ah, I was hoping, like, bombers, bombers, like, chariots, chariots. That's okay. Let's get an ore miner. An ore miner. We'll get a few ore miners queued up here. We'll just get the AC process building up while I'm kind of waiting. So, collector there. Collector there. Get some relay action right there. collector and an ore miner just get the infrastructure built up as much as possible um i'm not really too sure how i would be able to advance without this bomber weaponry 75 holy garbage that's expensive um what i am going to do however is i'm definitely going to take a little bit of time and build up some energy reserves there's no rush right i mean they can't touch me i can't touch them let them build up as much as they want that gives me plenty of time to get an economy online, and I know the way I just built that was awful. So, I don't really mind if I'm hemorrhaging a little bit. I'm just going to let that take its time and just build up a little. Looks a little bit better. And just concentrate on this little area here. Uh, I'm gonna place a bunch more reactors. I want to be able to push and just push and push and push. I don't want to have to wait a whole lot to get this whole thing going on. So once that network is online, um, more, more generators. And we got plenty of AC sitting around, so that's good. And there's our six generators without having to build weapons, really. Um, I'm not really in any sort of a rush right now. I kind of take my sweet, sweet time. Oh, there's that. Let's go ahead and get a relay and a relay just so I have ways to expand. Uh, that way, if I crowd it in with reactors, I don't have to destroy the reactors because... Oh, you know what? Uh, Terp. Yeah, let's have some fun with this guy. Uh, I don't know if I can terraform space, but let's figure it out. So what's the height here? like a four to me so I want a height of four and a brush size of I don't care nope I can only terraform land that's already here okay well I'll keep them around I guess so that's interesting that I can't create new land it's probably a good thing 
knowing that this could all backfire and kill me. <laughs> That's probably not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, that turp is just gonna go to work. So let's get some bombers online. Uh, I don't know how many I need. Uh, let's get some strafers. Strafers don't require AC to function, so that might be a little more uh, bang for the buck. Kind of easier? I don't know. Um, okay, weapon, strafer. Yep, and these are weapon systems that can just actually... I want the strafers over here. I know I'm wasting some energy by destroying and whatever, but I kind of like my stuff a little orderly. There's not really much else on the expansion side I can think of. We could, like, try artillery. Artillery would probably be a fine way to expand and whatever, but the range would only get, like, a little slice of it. Achievement. First bomber. Excellent. Okay, so that's filling with AC right now. Now the mines. The actual mining and ore and our AC that's being built, the anti-creeper is a limited supply. It's not like I could keep this going forever. So I've got to be a little careful on how I play my cards with how much of whatever I spend. I kind of want to start with a legion or a swath of these striders first. See how well they do. See if I can get some territory. Then we'll try bombers against the bigger spots. Uh, again, it's the same deal. Um, I noticed that my mouse is a little off kilter, and I do apologize for that. We're already seven minutes in, and I just noticed. Uh, come on here. Start cleaning up shop. Uh, bomber squadron. Uh, I probably don't need all of you. Let's just try two of you. Yep, that cuts a pretty nice swath, for sure. Oh, bombers are slow. Dang. That cuts a pretty decent amount out of the creeper, though. That's not bad. It's not great. And I might stick to striders unless the situation is dire and requires bombers. But that's not bad. They've got quite the capacity as well. I don't know, I just kind of wanted to see how they do, just little increments at a time. Yeah, I would need a ton. I think I would need way more uh, bombers to make that fly. Strafes, though. I could probably use these boys all day. Yeah, I don't know why I'm kind of... I'm, I'll be honest, I'm a little turned off about the AC uh, functionality. It's a cool ability. It's, it's nice to have it. Like, it's another neat alternative to the way old creeper combat went down. So it's not a bad thing. It's just I'm not really used to using it yet, so it's just kind of like, meh. Now these guys are going to get armored up. I placed a few more reactors. Let's see if that's going to get me a little more distance on the econ.
Okay, another wave of striders. That's another six we're gonna push out. Uh, hopefully my energy catches up, which it will after we're all done rearming. Uh, striders look like they attack constantly. Bombers look like they're just a one-time push. There we go. Yeah, I kind I kind of like the striders because or strafers, striders, strafers, whatever. Um, they seem to be doing a better job keeping the spread down. So maybe I use strafers to strike. I'm not gonna get the name right. <clears throat> I'll just call them fighters and bombers for gosh sake. Maybe I get the fighters in there to kind of soften it up, and then the bombers to purge out. So let's let's try that. Let's just drop two bombers right there. Maybe that's how this works. There we go. Now we've got our foothold. Okay, let's continue the charge. Let's go this way. And let's move quick. I don't have a ton of time to fart around here. Get a couple of turrets up, a couple of cannons. Yep, now the AC here will buy me time to set up shop. I think that's smart. I mean, that feels like that works out pretty darn well. Hard to say for sure, for sure, but it doesn't seem like it's working out too badly. Move up. Move up. Weapons and nullifier. Where's the spawner? Uh, nullifier. Are these not spawners? What the heck is the deal with this? Okay, I'm thoroughly confused. Okay, so maybe I just have to keep these turrets here forever? I don't... I guess these aren't traditional spawners. Maybe that was something that was explained in the storyline, and since I skipped it, that doesn't really help <laughs> at all. Uh, but we'll just reposition a little bit. We'll get a few more turrets. We'll be able to keep everything at bay very easily. This is not a big deal. more economic expansion. Uh, so this is a spawner. Okay, that's a legit spawner over there. So this isn't a complete waste. I feel like we can get in there pretty solid. Actually, the even bigger thing is I don't even have to screw the. I, oh, I need to take care of that spawner, I'm sure, and the key. Um, that might be just the two things I need to deal with. Um, I'm gonna need a landing party. Let's get some turrets online. Turrets, cannons, it's another thing I'm just gonna say wrong. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, can I, I can't select them all from there, so concentrate right there.
Looks like I'm about to develop my foothold, which is great. We're going to go ahead and send in the entire bomber squadron. Just work that whole thing down pretty solid. And then I'll be able to ploop, drop the foothold right there. Uh, instead, uh, I'm going to get the relay up first. Hopefully we can build it in that time. Okay, I lost the relay. Which was expected. It was a little ambitious to try to push it out that early. Now let's try. Yeah, heavy bombardment for sure. Yeah, this is weird. It's just a little spawn tile that, uh, whatever. Uh, actually, I wonder if I could just cheese it and nullify it immediately. That would be grand if that would work. Shoot. Move up. Now that we've got the full pushback, nullifier time. Boop. That should handle that. With the turrets in place and a decent power stream coming through, fantastic. Um, I am going to build our extra levels of redundancy here. There we go. A much faster path for the power. So you'll see, once this is built, this will flow this way. Again, look at the, look at the building thing, not the Windows mouse. Windows mouse is completely jacked. Did I build the nullifier? Yeah, it's there. Oh, it's just the combat reticles on top of it. Excellent sauce. Okay. Move in. Is it worthwhile to build a mortar or anything here? Nope, but I'm going to do it. Because reasons. Okay, link up the power network a bit more. We're going to let those aircrafts clear that out a bit. Once they get a little bit of the damage in, we'll send in the bombers to kind of set up that foothold that we need. And then we'll take the key. little bit longer of a mission, but this was a very excellent way to demonstrate the bomber type. This was really cool. Go ahead and drop. And I want you kids to move up. And actually, because that died, these are dead too. See how this isn't spawning anymore? Which is interesting. Oh! A little bit, uh, little bit of leftovers. Same thing, we'll set up a relay, and then we're gonna go ahead and drop all the turrets. All the turrets. Now we could land with the turrets first and then set up the relay. That gets very dangerous though, considering uh, the turrets would be unpowered. They would expend all their energy, and then they'd have nothing left to fire with. That's dangerous. Uh, looks like we've got enough anti-creeper, though. I can move in, and it's going to be built by the time the troops arrive. And let's get a collector. Let's tap that key. Call this a done deal, yo. Yeah, that anti-creeper is excellent for pushing it out. And there we go. The triplex shield key. victory 
Excellent work. Uh, I'm going to call this an episode here. Tiplex seems like it's going to be a much more significant level to me. And like I said, kind of want to keep this in the 20, 25, 30 minute range. Kind of keep it a little more digestible as a per level gameplay walkthrough as opposed to, well, we're going to stop right here in the middle of battle. Uh, so my name is John Megacycle. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to catch you next time.